today we are going to compare and order decimals. Here we have two decimals. We have eight tenths and six tenths. We want to know if it's greater than, less than, or if they are equal. There are several different strategies we can use. You may be able to tell just by looking at it. But you can also use pictures. So I can draw my eight tenths. I can draw my six tenths. And I can tell that the eight tenths has more of our box shaded. So the answer is 8 tenths. Another example, this one we have 4 tenths and we have 17 hundredths. If we weren't doing decimals, having 17 of something sounds like it would be more than having 4. But we have to remember in decimals that tenths are bigger and they're like dimes and hundredths are like pennies. So this would be like having four dimes or 17 pennies. Which one is more? Once again, I'm going to draw some pictures. So there's my four tenths and my 17 hundredths. So those hundredths are really, really small. So even though we have 17 of them, there's little dots as opposed to the tenths that are a whole line from the top to the bottom. So my four tenths fills up more space than my 17 hundredths. So 4 tenths is greater than 17 hundredths. We're also going to be ordering three decimals from least to greatest. So here's three decimals. 2 tenths, 27 hundredths, and 19 hundredths. We could draw pictures again. But another strategy that we can use is to put dots on a number line. So here's my number line. I have ten hundredths, twenty hundredths, and thirty hundredths, plus all the hundredths in between. So I'm going to start with my two tenths, which is the same as twenty hundredths. So I put a dot right there. Then I have 27 hundredths, so I'm going to count 7 spots over from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that is my 27 hundredths. And then I'm going to plot the point of 19 hundredths, which is just one spot below 20 hundredths. So there we go. So I have my three dots on my number line. And now I know that the least is going to be the furthest one to the left, which is this one, the 1900s. So I'm going to write that first down at the bottom. Then my next one over is the 2000s, which we can just write as 2 tenths. And then my furthest one over to the right is 2700s. So there we go. That is our answer from least to greatest. So now we have two different strategies. We have drawing the picture or using a number line. We're going to use the same strategy again for this one. So I have 63 hundredths, 6 tenths, and 71 hundredths. Well, this time actually I want to use a different strategy. So I'm going to just write these all on top of each other. So I just moved those the six tenths and the seventy-one hundredths, and I put them, so I kind of made a line up and down instead of sideways. There's lots of different strategies we can use. I'm going to erase those over there, so it's not so cluttery. So now what I can do is I can just go with down with the place value. So they all have zero holes. I move over to the right to the next place value, which is our tenths. I'm actually going to kind of do this one backwards, so I make sure I don't run out of room at the end. So I'm going to actually start with greatest. So two have six tenths, one has seven tenths. So I'm going to put that as my greatest on the right. The other two both have six tenths. So we need to move over one more place value. So this one has six tenths plus three hundredths. 
so it has just a little bit more. So that one's going to be in the middle, which leaves us just with the six tenths that's going to be our least. And there's our answer. So that gives you three different strategies besides just being able to look at it and see. So you can draw pictures, you can use number lines, you can kind of put them on top of each other so that you can just look at each place value spot a little bit easier. And each of those strategies should be able to help you. So you're going to do the next two problems with me. That way you can check your work and make sure you're ready to do the four on your own. So I want you to pick one of those strategies, either to draw a picture, use a number line, or any other strategies that we've learned in the past. And I want you to figure this one out. When you have an answer, I want you to unpause this and see if you're on the right track. Okay, so the answer is 4 tenths is greater than 32 hundredths. Okay, one more to do along with me. This time I want you to order them from least to greatest. So we have three decimals, 34 hundredths, 3 tenths, and 37 hundredths. Once again, I want you to pick one of those strategies, draw pictures, draw a number line, do something to help you figure out which one is least to greatest. Pause it, and then when you have it done, check to see if you got it right. Okay, here we go. 3 tenths is the least, 34 hundredths is in the middle, and 37 hundredths is the greatest. If you got these two that you did with me right, you're ready to do some on your own. Here you go. Number one, is two tenths or twenty-seven hundredths greater? Number two, is eighty-six hundredths or nine tenths greater? Number three, order these from least to greatest, 43 hundredths, 51 hundredths, and 5 tenths. And last of all, order these from least to greatest, 2 tenths, 17 hundredths, and 32 hundredths. Bring these four questions and your other work to class tomorrow, and I will check and see how you did. Have a wonderful rest of your day.